Hello everybody, Chris here, and this is my fourth game dev log for the Unity 5 engine and my 2D RPG. So you can see if we boot up the game, or really before I even boot up the game, that we do have something of a proper house going on here. It's probably not in its final state, but you can at least tell what I'm trying to go for there. A simplistic house environment that we can use for testing purposes at least. So um, beyond adding some pixel art to this and making it look a little nicer, um, I've also added in warp functionality. And most of that came out of RM2K devs. Uh, scripts. So if you're interested in that, I'll put a link in the description to his videos, which I did use very heavily, almost copying the scripts um, to get this to work. One of the main differences I did add, though, is that when uh, my character does bump into one of these warp events, it stops character movement entirely so that you can't just move around in strange ways while it's trying to transition. Another thing you'll notice, and I did talk about this in one of my uh, recent tutorial videos, is that when we go bump into the walls, and this is a pretty huge thing that I knew had to be fixed, um, the rigid body 2D will actually completely stop your movement properly. So what I was doing wrong was that I was trying to move the character by um, changing the position on the transform rather than trying to move the rigid body. And I think what that was doing was allowing the character to move before it did the rigid body checks and then the rigid body would kick the character back out to its previous uh, location. And that looks terrible because it makes the camera jitter a lot. But now here, whenever we jump at a wall, it just stops completely, there's no shaky pixels or anything like that because the character is just stopped outright and that's what we want in a 2D game like this. Now the next thing I want to work on is getting something of a dialogue system going where if I go up to a book like right here at this desk and I hit enter or space or something like that, it's going to show some text. I'm still kind of figuring out how I want to show the text, whether I want a giant box to appear at the bottom of the screen or something like that, like is the old school way of doing things, or maybe if I just want the text to appear above the event or above the object that's speaking. I'll have to play around with that a little bit there. One more thing I will mention is that if you're curious about who the main character of the game is, if it's going to be this ghosty goat or not, the answer is probably not. Um, mostly I'm using this character as testing purposes right now. I should probably actually start writing this storyline about now, shouldn't I? In any case, that's going to be it in today's short devlog video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support the project, i got Patreon links down below, and hopefully I'll see you in my future content.